Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's XOXO the Chia here. And um, today I am doing a review and tutorial on the on the new Arbonne It's All in the Eyes Volume 1 palette. There is two palettes that um, Arbonne has released. This is a Volume 1 and the Volume 2, which I'll do another tutorial um, later on this month about it. So today I'm just focusing on Volume 1. Um, So as you can see, they're really earthy, down to earth shadows. So um, I am gonna be showing you how I would use this palette and then giving you my honest review about it. And as you know, I am an Arbonne Independent Consultant, but I am gonna be 100% truthful with you guys. So before I begin, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. The light box says to subscribe, so you should do it too. So I'm going to go in with this color clove right here and just do my transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with red rock right in that crease area. Then with the brush that I used Clove on, I'm just gonna blend it out, blend it down. Then with this color Mahogany right here, I'm just going to do the outer corner. Then going back in with the um, brush that I use clove with, just going to blend it out. I'm just going to keep on going back and forth until I'm happy with the density of the colour on the outer corners. Now that I'm happy with the intensity of the outer corners, I am now going to focus on the centre. And for that, I am going to use this colour, Desert. Just going to pack that on to the center of the eyelid. And I'm now happy with the um, center of my eyelid, so I'm now going to work on the um, inner corner. For that, I'm going to use a mixture of Fox Sand and Carnaway. So these three up here. One thing that I can say about this palette is that there's a lot of fallout. So then to finish it all off, I am going to do a liner on my lower lash line and some mascara. So I'm using the, um, it's a fine line Arbonne in the color Carbon. I am 
just gonna go in with a Q-tip and just smoke it out. That's a huge tip for all of you guys out there. If you ever want to smoke out a line and you don't, and your eyes are very sensitive underneath your eyes, use a Q-tip because they're soft and you can get in further and just smoke it out. Now I'm gonna go in with the Arbonne It's a Long Story Mascara and just coat my lashes, do a very thin coat. Does anyone else make really weird mouths when they do their mascara? I'm always like, it all off I'm going in with the let it set from Arbon. so now review time on this palette so there is a lot of fallout when it comes to this palette um, I found that I was scraping off a lot from the under eye however the shades are very pigmented so they're very and they're very buttery very creamy and you can get a lot out of them I'm really excited to do a look with this um, with this shade, uh, comment down below if you would like to see me do like a forest green, ivy green sort of um, look. So I'm very looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm finding that this palette is super, super convenient to go traveling with because it's very small and like it's literally like this. So you can put it into your travel suitcase with all your other products. Um, I also love the packaging. I love the fact that it's all biodegradable. So once once this palette is finished, you can throw it straight into the recycling bin and it will decompose. Um, I am also loving the fact that it's vegan and cruelty free because that is a huge part of me. I don't like to use products that are that have that are like that test on animals that do all that. That's just a thing for me as a vegetarian and. Um, I just find that being living healthily does not only mean from the inside, it also means from the outside. So I'm loving the fact that this is vegan cruelty free and it is recyclable. So overall, I'm loving this product, this, this palette. I think that it's one of the best palettes that I've used so far. And also from a non-traditional makeup brand. So. I'm looking to go out outside more of like from the Max, from the Too Faced, from the um, from the Steelers, from the Beckers, from the all that sort of all the sort of mainstream. I'm looking to go outside of that to try and so to try and source you the best products. So yeah, I think that this is a palette that is going to be definitely worthy of your purchase. Um, I also think that all the colors here are very versatile and they're very usable friendly. I hope you liked that tutorial slash review. Um, I will be doing more of these on different products that are coming out, emerging technologies. As I said before, I want to try and source stuff from outside of the typical makeup products. Be kind, stay safe, and don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And believe me, that leaves you a lot to work with. XOXO, the chair.